Welcome to the video guys, Captain Matt Arnholt here, Editor-in-Chief of Florida Sport Fishing Magazine. I want to talk to you about something really cool and that is slow pitch jigging in freshwater. You heard me correctly now, slow pitch in freshwater. What we've got here is a 25 gram deep jig from Jig Pro Fishing. Now this is a part of our micro bundle that's available only at fsfgear.com and Unlike all the other jigs in our other bundles in our partnership with Jig Pro Fishing, these we really tried to minimize the amount of tackle and all the hardware on it. So you're not going to see you're not going to see any solid ring or a barrel swivel there. It's just a split ring and and a single assist hook. That's all you need. But to give this jig action, I want to show you just a quick knot that I use. Instead of a clinch knot or a uni knot, we want to tie some variation of your favorite loop knot. Now, there's a lot of ways out there to get a strong, effective uh, loop knot. Here's what I use. We're going to set this down here. You want to tie just an overhand knot in your line here. I've got this high-vis orange line, hopefully, that you can see. Quick overhand knot, just like that. You want to pull pretty tight, not too tight, and you want to leave a little bit of room there. Now... What you want to do is take that end and put it through not the split ring but the solid end of this jig just like that so you've got you've got the line through your solid top end of of your jig and you've got your overhand knot right there what you want to do now is pass the end of that line through the loop of your overhand knot, pull through, and now you want to set your loop to where you, you're going to want it when you're, when you're done. So you want a little bit of room there to give the jig some, some action, but not too much. I like to pull down right there. So you've got a loop but it's not too much. Now, what you wanna do is take the end of, of your line and wrap it two or three times. We'll go two here. And then, this is really important. You wanna take your loop and you wanna push it in just like that and put the end of your line right through the hole that you made by pushing it in. Just like that. Now, it's as easy as pulling tight. You wanna really test it out. You wanna make sure that you tied it well. Put some tension on it. And that's your knot there. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's a really simple knot, a really strong knot, a really effective knot. And that's gonna give that jig a lot of action. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Can't wait to see how it goes when, when you give this a try for uh, yourself. I think it's going to work really well. Just go to any lake, pond, any, any body of uh, fresh water that you like to uh, fish. Tie on one of these jigs and let's see what, what happens. I, th I think it's going to do really well for you.